me who have had traumas in their intimate area, whether it be sexual abuse or um, episiotomy. One woman wrote to me asking for my advice, which I couldn't give her because I didn't have the expertise. She'd had um, a very severe episiotomy against her will. Um, she filmed it and put it on YouTube to warn other women about certain procedures during natural childbirth. With your knowledge, would you um, know if it was actually possible to get your elasticity back after having such a procedure? Um, because many women, you know, they, they end up having reconstruction and that can often lead to insensitivity in, in that most sacred part of ourself. And um, I was very sad when I received this email um, because she said that every time she made love with her husband, people would love at her. So I would really love to uh, have your advice on what you would say to such a woman, whether there is hope for someone like her to get her elasticity back in her vaginal wall. Я вас поняла. Вы знаете, это вообще часто встречаются такие проблемы у женщин. И у меня даже есть такие ученики, которые после родов действительно роды были тяжелые, естественно, там отрезают в область промежности у женщины. И, конечно, желательно, чтобы этого не было, и роды протекали благополучно. Вот я начну с того, что все-таки, когда женщины, занимаясь моей гимнастикой, по моей методике, готовятся к родам, то у них очень эластичная промежность, область промежности, связки во влагалище области, где матка, да? She says that it's quite a known issue, and she does it indeed has a lot of people, a lot of ladies who came to her trainings, her workshop, who had the similar issues, and it is quite common that during you know really hard during childbirth. That it is a common as well procedure in Russia when it when epi what's the word say that word epi thotomy will procedure procedure will be done and what she recommends for for ladies who are prepare preparing to give the birth to the child that they will start using her technique to make sure that the intimate muscles that will become more strong and as well more elastic which gives which gives this possibility of having the easier and more natural childbirth. И вот если, конечно, уже женщина обратилась к вам, да, с такой проблемой, естественно, для нее это психологическая травма и физическая травма. Конечно, занимаясь по моей методике, в чем эффективность? Uh, muscles, intimate muscles, and what she says that they should not worry about that because using her technique will actually help to create your legs by using those muscles and uh, because when pulling them and when start using them the uh, muscles will start will gradually come back to norm. It might be a bit longer time than without having this operation of course but it might because normally it takes from two to three months to three, two, three months of uh, regular exercises to restore the feelings they all have and to store the muscles, the intimate muscle bone. But after the operation, it can take five to six months, and which is a regular time that you know. And, but after doing this, after doing the intimate uh, gymnastics, women can be sure that they can restore the full and normal uh, feelings, sensibility of this area. And besides just you now restoring the whole. Um, the whole intimate area, they will start again feeling your partner and their intimate life will be restored as well. And she does understand that unfortunately not many women do know about that and that's why they will be going and operating and making these operations on vagina area, making it small, but unfortunately that's not the best way out because what it does, does make it small, but muscles, when they're not trained, they will extend again and they will have to make it operation all over again. What she said that it's only about intimate muscles uh, uh, workshops and uh, gymnastics that actually helps to restore the elasticity of the muscles and ligaments 
and that will restore this natural and uh, 